Yes. So the reason that you get a DAW controller like the Platform M from Icon Pro Audio in the first place is because you miss the feeling of having faders when you're mixing in the box. And you get this and it's motorized faders, 10-bit resolution is extremely accurate in your mix, but then it doesn't exactly have the feel of faders on an analog mixer. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Well, forget getting used to it. I'm going to show you how to adjust the fader speed and touch sensitivity in your Platform M from Icon Pro Audio right now. So now we're going to adjust our faders on the Platform M by Icon Pro Audio. And you don't have to have this connected to your DAW to adjust the faders. You just have to have it plugged in uh, so that you're getting power to the motorized faders. And you have to have the latest firmware update starting from firmware update 1.09 or later, and you can get that at the Help Center at IconProAudio.com. The link to that is in the description below, so check that out. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust the speed first. So to adjust the speed, we start with the power off, and we're going to go into our fader adjustment mode by holding down encoder number one on the first track here to the far left. We're gonna hold this button down on the encoder and turn the power on. And you see automatically the faders jump up. When we release this, we'll start into our fader adjustment mode. Now I've got mine set super fast because I want it to fly. So the way that we adjust this is by going to encoder eight right here on the far right. And we turn it counterclockwise if we want to slow the faders down. So we can go really slow. You would never do this. Never have your faders this slow. Or you can speed it up by going clockwise. And you can get it going pretty fast here. I think that's about as fast as it goes. And that's pretty quick. So then to save this, to save this, we're going to go back to encoder eight and click right there and it stops goes right into DAW mode we can select our DAW and we're ready to go ready to play okay now another reason that you might want to do this other than just for the feel of it is because some DAWs actually have a different settings in their MIDI to control the the faders and from the MIDI out so you're going to want to make sure that you're adjusting properly depending on your DAW as well. You may find that some DAWs respond a little bit better. And so uh, the Platform M gives you a way to tweak that so that you can make it just as comfortable as possible. Okay? So that is our fader speed. Now we're going to adjust fader sensitivity. And uh, to adjust fader sensitivity again, we start with the power off. This time, we're going to go to encoder number two, right? That's one for speed, two for touch sensitivity. So just like before, we're going to hold the encoder button down, and we're going to power on. And now this time, we don't have our nice little speed flippy thing. We've got a light here on the select button on number one. And this is because I have the touch sensitivity all the way up, okay? So if you would like to 
decrease the touch sensitivity, you want to turn encoder number eight clockwise. Now this is very important. The more lights you have on, the less touch sensitive the faders will be. Let me say that again. You can go all the way up to fader number eight here. This is not very touch sensitive. You can see, like with this, the light doesn't even come on. That's like the fader is not responding, okay? So you see that LED that, that's not coming on? That's, that's because we have the touch sensitivity all the way down. So as we increase our touch sensitivity, going counterclockwise with encoder number eight, counterclockwise, right? You'll see our lights go off one at a time. Now we've got our touch sensitivity all the way up and you can see just by touching the fader, my LEDs come on and they're very touch sensitive, right? Now you're really at that point where you're like an analog fader and if you bump the fader, oh, I messed up my mix. If you want that feel of an analog fader, you wanna get your touch sensitivity all the way up. So again, we did this with encoder two and we used encoder eight to adjust it. And now we're all the way touch sensitive. So we're gonna save that again. We're gonna press encoder number eight. It's saved, we're jumping into DAW mode. We're selecting our DAW and we're ready to get to work. So to recap, encoder one, when we do our speed adjustment, and we're going to use encoder eight to turn clockwise to speed it up, counterclockwise to slow it down, right? Clockwise to speed it up, counterclockwise to slow the faders down. And then for touch sensitivity, using encoder number two, holding down encoder two when we power on, we're going to go counterclockwise to be more touch sensitive so that your lighter touch gives you more control. And clockwise, if we want to be less touch sensitive for a tighter control of our fader. So if you have any questions about this, please go to the Help Center at iconproaudio.com and we'll be glad to walk through it with you. And that's it. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, also, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're going to be adding a lot more videos in the days and weeks and months to come. With that... Go and make some great music. Thanks. Peace.